Valorant competitive is really frustrating. Obviously, sometimes it's not, but most of the time, it is. No comms, no coordination, horrible teammates. Everyone high rank I know has either duo queued to their rank or ran a five stack to Immortal. And they say that it's the easiest way to rank up. Since then, you don't have to deal with the horrible teammates. But when you rank up with people, it doesn't feel like you deserve the rank, as you have to play with someone to get where you were at. And I myself do not want to become a booster player, no matter what. I just feel like there's a better way to rank up and actually become a good player in the process, not just running it with a smurf stack and going 13-0. I've seen a lot of stories of people so queuing their way up to Diamond, Ascendant, Immortal, even Radiant. And while it's hard, it's possible. And if they can, I can too. So I'm going to take the first step into becoming a solo queue ranked demon by only running my Valorant matches alone. No friends, no smurfs, no teammates for a whole week. And I will, I will make it to Diamond when this challenge ends. Now let's cut the bullshit and start. I started out my first day with Lotus, and you know, it was a usual day. Lock in, buy stuff, shoot heads, get shot in the head. No! Tweak out, shoot some more heads, get shot in the head again, What? and repeat. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> Yo, what? <sighs> but besides that, my first game went pretty well, to be honest. Even though we had four duelists, we had comms, and everyone on our team was shitting oh, on the yeah. other team. We won this match pretty quick. I yeah, match MVP'd, nice. got my elo, and queued another one to bind. This game was not as easy, though, as I got caught off guard a lot for the first two rounds. Okay. I was really trying to get my team to play together with me, and it helped. I'm pushing now. Pushing now. I have arrow in three. He's me. I think he's me. I think he's right there. I'm waiting. I'm gonna defuse. Okay. Cover me. He's hit. Nice. nice. I also tried to do more solo aggressive plays as a half went on, and it did work out for a bit. Hello there. But I would eventually start overheating. We also started throwing easy rounds. I got a couple of kills, but then I was too confident in my prediction. So then I played out in the open. As I said earlier, this match was much more difficult as during my attack half, I was pretty much caught with my pants down like half the time. This was turning into a close match. And after a lot of toss and turning, we eventually ended up into overtime. We were 13-12. If we won this round, we win the game. This was a very important round. Right side. The last one. We won! And I got carried. But honestly, I wasn't too fussy about it. Because it's normal to not always MVP every match. Now on Sunset though, I was not playing normally. I was getting shit on. I was getting distracted by watching my Sage play. Because bro was mopping the floor. Uh, bro, this kid needs to look up. What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, like, when you're solo queuing, you have to really focus on yourself. I need to really focus on myself because watching this stage will make my blood boil. Bruh. Long story short, I didn't focus. And well, even after we eventually won the game, I was not the reason why we won the match. Now, after solo queuing a few games, it was only a matter of time before I lost. But I was two RO away from plat two. And oh my god, I couldn't resist. I loaded into a breeze game and our team got dumpster fired. I actually played well, but I wasn't good enough to tip the tides into my favor. And after three games, I was bound to lose one. So honestly, overall, I would call my first day of solo queuing a success. I don't think solo queuing is that bad after all. But the next few days were going to prove me otherwise. I started on bind again. And just like usual, I was pub stomping again. I don't know what it is with mine, but I think I'm actually just him. I poo pooed on them easy. 13 2 and gain a whopping 32 RR, taking me to plat 2. Today was going to be an easy day, I thought. Today was free low, I thought. Today I was gonna hit plat 3, I thought. Oh, hell nah. My next game was on Icebox. And for the first part, our team was talking, allowing us to take the half 5 7. But when we lost our pistol and our bonus, what? Everyone lost their morale and went dead silent. I even tried to motivate our team into winning, even though I was playing really bad. Let's start calming. We can still win this. Sova's trying this hard. Everyone who's bottom fragging should be trying too, bro. But this is also when I realized that you can't force someone to put the same effort as you into winning, no matter how hard you try. And I would have loved to say that we came back, but the reality was we didn't. We lost this game 5-13. And with that, we were on our plat D rank. I played another match afterwards, but it was the same gist. No, 54. Fuck, we did okay first half, but team morale was low, and after 20 minutes, this game was over. I tried my best. We were so close. We could have won that if everyone tried harder. I deranked back to plot one, back to square one. I need to get back on my feet the next day, and 
just go at it. I woke up, I got on, and I aim trade for an hour. An hour straight. I could not feel my fingers afterwards. But whatever. My first match was on Ascent. I held my ground, and after a 9-3 half, I closed up the game, hit plat 2, and ran another match. We lost this one, but whatever. I was gonna play for a while, so I queued again. We started out pretty bad first half, but I held on. And on round 14, I was pissing on these kids. And now he's dead. Yo, bruh. TP, 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 TP. KO shower. I'm gonna ult out of this jet if you wanna follow it. GG! Oh, Let's go. What? Wow. Wait, how are you? Yo, if this is not carrying, I don't know what is, bro. Oh, yeah. Yo! Behind! Yo, good try, guys. Valiant effort. I think I played for at least three hours straight, and I didn't really gain any elo. I gave it my all today. I warmed up for an hour, all for it to amount to almost nothing. This is how solo queuing really feels? Hopeless? I felt like I couldn't win a game alone. I can't carry. I can't play like this. How am I going to survive the rest of the week? I'm starting to question if queuing alone is the right idea. Because for the next few days when I played, I would win a match, but I was set back again with a loss right afterwards. It's like every time I put in my 100, we lose. And it's always for stupid reasons. For one, my team is full of golds and silvers. I'm in plat. And second, I got my ass stream sniped. Hey, Cuba. And... Oh my fucking god. I swear to no, god. This I'm kid? Not. This kid threw my fucking Yo, match. What am I supposed to do? I'm literally sweating my balls off just to have it all slapped back in my face. I, I can't do this. I just win and then lose and then lose again and then stay hard stuck. Like, fuck this, man. I don't know if I want to do this anymore, but something tells me that I have to. And I want to finish this challenge not only for the video, but for myself. I need to push on no matter what so on the next day i woke up not expecting much and started playing little did i know luck was going to be on my side today I went up all the way from zero elo to 78, and I was one game away from my rank up. Solo queuing was finally on my side today, and my hope was restored. On the sixth day of this challenge, I finally got closer to where I wanted to be. All I had left was one day. One day to take it all. One day to hit diamond. But I think the Valorant gods had one more trick up their sleeve just to ruin my week. The Valorant gods decided to mess with my ping, and it was terrible. I would rubber band all game and it would not stop. What? what like, like, where are my buffs going? I hear him. I hear him, guys. Wait, this guy! This guy's actually a- Well, shit. We lost, and I was done. There's no point in playing Valorant if I'm just straight buffering half the time. So what did we achieve then? Did we become a rank demon? Well, we did play better over the week, but if I was a demon, I would've hit diamond already. However, I didn't. So, well, all is lost. Except that it isn't lost. This solo queue challenge, yes, I'm talking about this video. It's all part of a 30-day Raze Instalock series. You probably noticed by now that I was only playing Raze because this was all building up to a grand finale. This solo queue challenge was week three, and on the final week, I will, I will make my push to Diamond 1. So, buckle up, 
like and subscribe and get ready for this ride. Looking in the